Hello, my name is Eric Peterson. I'm an assistant professor in the pharmacology department at uh, the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. As a faculty member here, I have two major roles, one as an educator and the other as a scientist. As an educator, I teach pharmacology to medical students, and in the graduate school, I teach pharmacology and toxicology courses. I also run an NIH-funded laboratory, where one of the roles that I particularly enjoy is teaching PhD-seeking graduate students the process of scientific discovery. In my laboratory group, this scientific discovery centers on discovering new therapies uh, that can treat drug abuse. Our current focus is combining nanotechnology and antibody-based technology to treat the problem of methamphetamine abuse. Methamphetamine is a very addictive drug and consequently is one of the top drug threats in the United States. If you watch the news, then you realize this. And right now, there is no medication available that actually protects the brain from the toxic effects of methamphetamine. Current therapies for treating damaging effects of methamphetamine abuse on the central nervous system, cardiovascular, and other systems are mainly supportive. What this means is they do not reduce meth concentrations in critical tissues like the brain. Here at UAMS, I'm working with a core of researchers that are dedicated to developing antibody therapies that will hopefully fill this need in drug abuse treatment. These antibodies act as a class of drugs called pharmacokinetic antagonists. Simply put, the antibodies circulate in the vasculature of the body and bind to methamphetamine, either removing it from the brain or, in a prophylactic case, before it actually enters the brain. So, in either case, we think that this medication will have significant therapeutic advantages for protection of the brain and other cr crucial organs. There are currently two forms of anti-meth antibodies in preclinical testing. There's a long-lasting IgG form, which is a larger form of the antibody, and there's a shorter form which is a, called a single chain variable fragment, which is the form that I work with. The IgG form was developed and discovered by Dr. Michael Owens here at UAMS, and in my laboratory, we're taking the single chain form and developing it further as a platform. Now, the smaller single chain has advantages and disadvantages over the intact IgG form. An advantage is that it can be produced more economically and is more potent at binding methamphetamine at lower protein doses. A significant disadvantage, however, is that it doesn't last very long in the body, i.e. it has a short in vivo half-life. But we think this is where the exciting new field of nanotechnology can help us. So nanoparticles, or nanotechnology, simply put, are particles that are on the nanoscale, meaning between 1 to 100 nanometers in size. And to put this in perspective, 1 nanometer is to 1 meter as the marble is to the size of the Earth. So Due to their small size and multiple functional groups, nanoparticles offer some exciting possibilities to help customize the pharmacokinetic behavior of antibody therapies. And my laboratory is using a nanoparticle called a dendromer to do just that. In an initial proof of concept, we're utilizing these dendromer nanoparticles as a scaffold to attach multiple antibody fragments. This could create an anti-methamphetamine drug with multiple binding properties. And what that really means is that it increases the efficacy of the drug while simultaneously extending the duration of action of these anti-meth antibody fragments. So to achieve this, students and research staff in my laboratory utilize many techniques that are commonly used in developmental biotherapeutics, including PCR, advanced protein chemistry techniques, chromatography, and in vivo pharmacokinetic experiments. If you'd like to learn more about this work in my laboratory or the graduate opportunities available at UAMS, please feel free to contact me.